Hello everyone and welcome to Counselor Future Friday. I'm your host, Brian Urban. In these features, we hope to give you some simple tips, tidbits, and tricks to make your days easier and your patients happier. This feature will be the first of a two-part series on managing device inventory. In this uh, overview, we're going to talk about managing loaners. In the next overview, we'll talk about managing stock. So a very quick definition in stock, I mean in counselor, I'm sorry, when we're talking about loaners, we're talking about devices that you provide to a patient with the expectation you'll be getting that device back. So if the patient perhaps has a hearing aid out for repair and you lend them a device until that repair comes back and then you uh, re reclaim that loaner. Stock would be a device that you'd fit on a patient with the intention that they would uh, keep that device. They may return or exchange it, but the, the general idea is that we're gonna fit this device with the hope that the patient will wear, wear this device long-term. Okay, so uh, we'll start, as I mentioned, talking about loaners. And to do that, we're gonna start by looking in under administration, and then we'll click on loaner devices. This is where you can add new loaners in. Um, and this, by the way, isn't just about hearing aids, this also could be about remote controls, or there could be different, um, different uh, line item types that you want uh, to use for maybe accessories or different types of hearing aids that you want to do for, uh, for loaners. Uh, but this allows you to see your full loaner uh, list. You can see who currently has devices. You can link to their profile from here. You can see when the loaner date occurred. Um, you can check in devices from here as well. So for example, uh, this one obviously has been out for quite a while. So let's go ahead and we could either click in his profile or I can edit here. Let's take the latter option. I can see the details and I can go ahead and check this in. So without even having to go in the patient's profile, I could check this in, okay? Or I could link right to Tim's profile in this case, uh, look at the devices, there's the loaner, you can tell because it says loaner. Uh, if I click in there, I can then choose the check in option and that will obviously remove um, that device uh, from the loaner activity within the patient profile, it still logs it, right? So going forward, counselor will put this in an inactive status and will list it as loaner. So if let's say a year down the road, the patient comes back and needs a loaner again, they can say, hey, that last one I really liked, you know, is it possible I get that loaner again? Sure, let me take a look. And you can find out what that device was, you know, reprogram up for the vite, or reprogram it for the patient, fit them, and then you'd add it again as a loaner. Um, and to do so, you would click on new device. You would then select the types. Once again, it could be a remote control, but in this case, we're gonna use uh, hearing aid. Uh, and then you can specify the manufacturer if you want, that'll shorten the list. Or you could say, you know, just show me all my loaners, right? And this will give you a full listing. Um, in this case, let's go ahead and grab this one here. Uh, obviously, we wouldn't have to fit this patient with the same device, but let's just stay with that example. Uh, and then you can enter as much or as little information as you want. So for example, if you're fitting this for the left ear, uh, you can enter that there, you can enter a fitting date if you wanted. Uh, but the idea here is that you're going to, um, in fact, let's go ahead and do a fitting date as well. Um, pretty minimal information is required here. We'll click save at the bottom of the screen. And now that device is added as a loaner for this patient. And of course, if we went back under administration to the loaner area, we'd see it as, uh, uh, there as well. Um, you also can see the loaner uh, devices are currently out there from within the dashboard. So if we look in the patient devices activity widget, we can see right now there's Tim Joseph's device and it's in yellow. And that's telling us right out of the gate that uh, this is a loaner, right? So we can see this amongst our other lists. So these are out for repair. You know, there's other things happening with these devices, but this one we know is out for loan. Um, you can also see that if I scroll down here, there is a dashboard which is specific for loaners. So you can see all your current loaners, whether they be you know remotes or you can narrow this down to a specific type and you can see what is currently out there. Um, so there's a few different ways to uh, verify uh, what devices are currently out there and stay on top of that. So you don't have that loaner that just kind of disappears. Okay. Um, there's also tracking available through the device uh, report generator, being uh, meaning that if you're in a scenario, let's take a, take a school uh, district, for example, where the same device likely goes up many times, and you want to see the history of this device over time and see who's, who's worn it over time, you can find that information through the device um, uh, report generator. And we're happy to help. So if you have any specific questions about that, we can help you kind of search your database and, and find that information as well and give you a path to show you how you can find that later on as well. Okay, so 
uh, as always, if you have any questions about utilizing loaners, please let us know. Uh, like I mentioned, the next feature Friday, we'll be talking about managing stock. Any questions you have, please give us a call, email us, live chat us. We're always happy to help. Uh, thank you very much for joining us for today's Feature Friday. And as always, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.